In this video, I will show you how to create an ASP.NET web application using VS Code. So first, it is necessary to install .NET. And to check if it is installed correctly or not, we need to open the command prompt. And here, let's type .NET. So we can see that it is installed correctly. We can even check the version. So let's write .NET hyphen hyphen version. So here we can see that I am using this version of the .NET framework. If it is not installed, then we need to install it. So to install the .NET framework, we need to go to the browser. And here let's type .NET. Let's go to the first link. Then download. And you can download and install this version, which is .NET 8. So we can click on this button. Then we need to save the installer. So in my case, I have already downloaded the installer and also I installed it. So I will not install it again. Now let's create an ASP.NET web application. So let's go to the folder where we want to create the application. In my case, I want to create it in the documents folder into VS Code projects. Then here, let's create a new folder for the new application. We can call this application best store, for example. Then let's open this folder using VS Code. So for the moment it is empty, let's open the terminal. And to create a new ASP.NET web application, we need to type .NET new. So here we can see that we can create these types of projects. In our case, I want to create this type, which is ASP.NET Core Web App, Razor Pages. So we need either to add this short name or this short name. So let's use this short name, web app. So here we have to type .NET new. Then this short name. Let's press enter. So now the application has been created correctly. And here we can see that we have new files and folders. Now to run this application, we have to type .NET run. So here we can see that our application is running and it is available at this URL. Let's go to this URL and we obtain this application. So now let's change this text, for example. So the home page is available in the pages folder. And it is called index.cshtml. Also, we can see that we have this notification that suggests to install the C Sharp extension. So later, I will show you how to install the C Sharp extension. Now let's update the title. So here, let's write "Welcome to our website." Let's save the file. Let's refresh the page. And we still have the old content. So to see the new content, we need to stop the application and to start it again. So to stop the application, we have to click on Control C. Then let's run the application again using .NET Run. Let's go again to this URL. And here we can see that we have welcome to our website. So instead of restarting the application each time we make a modification, we can use the watch command. So let's stop the application. And let's add the watch command. So we have to write .NET watch run. So 
So we can see that the browser has been opened automatically. And using the watch command, we are using the hot reload functionality. This means that each time we update the source code, the application will restart automatically. So now let's change this title. Let's write welcome again. Let's save the file. And here we have the new content, welcome again. Now I will show you how to install the C Sharp extension. So we can click on this extensions button. And here let's type C Sharp. Then we can select this extension and we can install it. But this is not required. 